Hey guys, one of the most frequent questions I get on this channel is how I created my avatar, not just how I make it talk, but also the hand movements, facial expressions, and how I use it in long tutorials. In this video, I'm going to break it all down. So grab your pen and paper and get ready. The first step in making a talking avatar is creating the image. You can use any image generation tool, but I use Midjourney. Journey. This avatar was created about two years ago and I've made multiple in-depth videos over 30 minutes long explaining the entire process. Since I won't be repeating that in this video, you can check out these two videos on my channel for that tutorial. I also have an AI avatar playlist that covers even more details so be sure to check that out. Now how do we make the avatar talk? and move. Before we start animating the image, there is one important tip I need to mention when generating your image. Make sure both hands are visible. While you can still animate an avatar without visible hands, AI sometimes struggles with this and may create awkward movements. Once you have your image ready, come to Kling AI. We'll be using version 1.6. And once you come to version 1.6, come under frames, and then we'll go ahead and upload the image of your avatar. Once you upload your avatar, the first thing you need to do is to ask Kling AI to create a static shot. Then you go ahead and describe your avatar in this situation. It's me describing a happy girl talking, looking straight into the camera and demonstrating with both hands gently. The girl is not moving a lot. Why I mentioned this specifically is because the next steps we are going to cover, if the lady is aggressively moving, it might cause some distortions. We'll try as much as possible for their character to be moving, but at the same time, not aggressively. And then in terms of the motion brush is not available for clean 1.6. I leave this as it is. And then for the settings, I normally leave it at 0.5. And then you could choose between standard mode and professional mode. I like professional mode. And then the duration is 10 seconds. You could go ahead and choose how many generations you want to make. In this situation, I just want to make just one generation. There is no camera movement. Then here, in terms of the negative prompt, even though it says optional, go ahead and put in that you don't want any any blur, distortion, computer generated or weird hands and then you go ahead to generate. It's important to note that to generate something useful, you might need to burn some credits. I want to make sure you are aware of that. I'll go ahead and click on generate and this is an example of the video that it generated for me. You could see how she's talking and moving her hands. This is one of the images I generated. If you don't like the video it generates, you could go ahead and regenerate another and this is how I was able to generate this. Once you generate this first image, what you need to do is come here that says download and then download without watermark is going to download it to your computer. And once it downloads it to your computer, head over to video frame extractor and I'll explain why we're using the video frame extractor. Click on select video and then you go ahead and select the video file. What we want to do is we want to extract the last frame of this video so we can impute back into clean AI. This is for the sole purpose of creating long and seamless transition clips. Remember, one of the things I was going to teach today as well is how create and use this character for a longer period. Here you scroll and then come to the end. Let these as it is and then click on extract. Once you click on extract it to start extracting different frames of the video you're waiting for it to complete. What you are looking for is the last frame. Okay, this is the last frame. Go ahead and click on the download button and it's going to be saved to your computer. Once you have the last frame downloaded, the next thing is to go back to clean AI. And then in this situation, what you're going to do is you're going to replace the start with that end frame. Click on this to delete it, click on this, and then go ahead and upload. That last frame that we just extracted, once you have uploaded it, go ahead to modify this 
in this situation we're going to be using a tracking shot we want to do is we want to create a situation where the girl stands up and is walking and talking what we are going to do is we are going to go back and pick the last frame and then in terms of the prompt the prompt is going to say a tracking shot of an animation lady getting off from her seat and walking while talking looking straight into the camera and demonstrating with both hands gently and then go ahead and leave everything as it is as we have done before and click on generate it to start generating by the right hand side it takes about two minutes depending on the plan that you are on I'm on a pro plan so it's relatively fast once this video is generated and you like it you will do the same process you will go ahead and download it use the video frame extractor to extract the last frame and repeat until you get the number of footages that you want once you get the number of footages you want the last footage is something that you need to pay attention to what you need to do is to the last image you pick the last frame like i have here and then you put back the original image that you started with because in this situation i want my avatar to be talking and then head back and sit back down as the last frame here i added the last frame of the last video then went ahead and added the first image we started this animation process with and then in the prompt I used the same tracking shot but this time around I said the lady is walking towards her table and sitting down gently on her chair then she continued talking while looking straight into the camera and demonstrating gently with her hands and once i have that done every other thing remains the same you go ahead and generate now this particular one takes a bit of time about eight to ten minutes you would just have to wait and you're going to burn through your credit once you have your video clips generated and you're happy with what you have go ahead and download each of those videos and we'll be doing something in CapCut with it for example let me show you how to download you click on this download button you want to download without watermark and once you have downloaded all your clips you come over to CapCut let me show you what I mean once you come over to CapCut dragging all the clips that you have created using the process I just mentioned the first image I will drag it to the timeline remember to name these images as you have generated them I will drag the second one to the timeline and I will expand it because I want to make sure that there is no gap between the last clip and the next clip we want to make sure there's a seamless transition once we put that in we're just gonna play a bit of it just to see how it transits this looks good then you go ahead and pick up the next clip and place it we're just gonna play it from the beginning to the end what we're trying to do we are trying to create a sequence of clips that will help us first of all look seamless while the avatar is talking without it looking weird you could see that the first join looked perfect and now this is the second join you can't even tell or else you are nitpicking and she went to sit down so once you have this then what you're going to do next is to select all your clips if you have more clips within your interface face just select it if not just use the export button straight up but i'll just select this right click and go to range select clip is going to choose the range that i want and i'm going to click on the export and then you're going to name it something and then i'll go ahead and export this remember at this point the video it's just an avatar talking but there is no sound once you have exported this to your computer the next thing is to lip sync this to lip sync this you already have your audio i don't need to go through the process of you having to use 11 labs to create your voice just use a 11 lab to create your voice or if you do a voiceover like me you can also use a clip of your voiceover once you have a clip of your voiceover head over to SyncLab. it's important to mention that i have talked about this tool a couple of times 
on this channel but you know people were not paying attention this particular tool is the tool that i use i'll just go ahead and click on upload it's going to upload the clip we just exported now the good thing about sync lab is that they recently launched a new model 1.90 beta that is pretty good with lip syncing i'll choose that or you can choose any other model but i'll choose the 1.90 and here you could drop in your audio file and once I drop that in now you could notice that this is 31 seconds in terms of the clip and this is 34 seconds in terms of the audio for this to work come to the right side make sure that you have your face pad into 1.1.1.1 in terms of speed generation leave it as 4x the output frame i normally use that 30 frames per second and then the resolution you could choose to use a higher resolution i'll use the source and then this is where the magic happens make sure that the sync mode is set to loop it's going to create a closed loop even if you have longer clips so you go ahead and select that and then click on generate and it would start generating something to mention is that this takes quite a bit of time depending on the length of the audio you are seeking sometimes it could take a couple of hours sometimes it would take a couple of minutes and once it's done it will go ahead and generate that clip for you let me show you an example of what we just created hi i'm zinni and welcome to the zinni studio here we help you build faceless youtube channels and discover creative ways to make money using ai whether you want to grow a youtube channel without showing your face or explore AI tools to boost your income this is the place to be and to help you get started we've got some amazing freebies waiting for you just check the link in the description so stick around hit that subscribe button and let's dive into the future of content creation together this is an example of one it generated and as you can see the lip syncing is perfect and then once it's done generating you click on this download button and it downloads to your computer it's important for me to mention that to use this tool it's not free and it's going to cost you a bit of money so you know that the key to creating an avatar is to think outside the box and be as creative as possible i have many other methods for making avatar so if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out on upcoming videos if you have any questions drop them in the comments and i'll be happy to help